Hi everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back to Cooking with Nats. Today we're going to make what a lot of people struggle with in the kitchen. How to make chapatis, pulka, or roti, however which way you want to call it, depending on where you're from in India. I hope you enjoy the tips and tricks during the course of this recipe. We're going to have a special guest in this video today, and that is going to be my talking pet parrot, Mitu. He absolutely loves chapatis, and you're gonna see just that. If you enjoy my video, please give it a big thumbs up, share and subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. With that, let's get started on making chapatis. Enjoy! Chapati is the simplest form of bread that is often made every day in a lot of Indian and Pakistani households. All you really need is two ingredients, uh, the whole wheat flour and some water. So we start by adding a little bit of water at a time. One of the biggest challenges that people face when they start to make uh, chapatis is that they never turn out soft. Um, in fact, oftentimes they're uh, as hard as uh, crackers. I mean, I'm not kidding, it's happened to me over the years as well. It's really a skill that comes with practice. The more you make it, the better you'll get at it. Every step along the way, from making the dough to kneading it to rolling out the bread, is really important and has an effect on the overall final outcome. Our goal is to have the dough to be soft, smooth and pliable. So when you press the dough with your fingers, it should actually leave an impression. If the dough will feel too tight, you can add one or two teaspoons at a time and add more as needed. If, it, if the dough feels too wet or sticky, then you can add a little bit of flour. All of this is done right in the preliminary stages in the three to five minutes that we will be kneading the dough. And we knead the dough with the knuckles of our fingers and uh, then fold and knead again. We needed the dough for about three to four minutes. And as you can see, the dough is soft and pliable. It's not sticking to the bowl. Our hands are not sticky and our fingers leave impressions. At this point, it's best to cover it up for about 30 minutes and set it aside. It's been about 30 minutes. I'm using an electric stove. So let's preheat the largest burner on max with a flat non-stick pan or tava on top as we prepare to roll out the chapatis. Note that to have the puffy soft chapatis, we will use a roti grill such as this one. So what you'll need is a clean dry surface, a rolling pin, and we'll set aside also some extra whole wheat flour or atta to dip our bread into it several times while actually rolling the bread out. Anytime the dough starts sticking to the rolling pin, we dip the bread into the whole wheat flour on both sides and then continue rolling. After the dough had rested, I gave it a quick knead again and created about nine equal parts. That would create about these roughly nine inches in diameter. Take one ball and roll it between palms smoothly until no cracks. Press the round dough ball to flatten it slightly. Flip both sides into dry flour and get rolling. Move the rolling pin lengthwise across the dough, applying gentle pressure as you roll. If you're rolling it correctly, the dough will automatically move in a circular motion and the chapati will roll out evenly. This generally comes with practice. You can also choose to roll the dough and take the dough and move it a little around with your hands and then roll it again. During this process, you will be dipping the roti or the chapati into the dry flour several times while rolling the roti. Make sure that the thickness of the chapati is the same throughout to give that chapati a nice puff. Dust off any excess atta and flip onto the preheated tawa. Notice bubbles start to appear and the color of the roti darken a little. About 30 seconds later, flip onto the other side with tongs being careful not to pierce a hole. Another 30 seconds on this side and slide the flat pan or tawa away, bring in the roti grill and flip the roti onto it. Remember to flip it to the original side. Notice how it fully puffs up if it's evenly and thinly rolled out with no holes. As it puffs, gently flip to the other side for a few seconds and it's done. Wrap it into a towel and a hot pot. Some people choose to put some butter on it, but I prefer just the two ingredients for my chapatis, water and atta. The process was repeated to roll out chapatis and we ended up with eight chapatis just over nine inches in diameter. Which one's roti? 
Yeah. Where is Mitchu? What are you doing? Kawa. He choose enjoying his roti. Thank you. Yum yum. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna go eat too. Did you enjoy the roti me too? Mm -hmm. So there you have it folks. Easy to make chapatis right here at home. If you enjoyed my video, give it a big thumbs up, share, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Bye. Bye, Mitchell. Time for you to go in.